it's another really exciting day because I am packing again today. The video that you saw, the previous packing video you saw, was filmed weeks ago. It is now late April. <laughs> so I need to do some more packing. I have been slowly like gathering some things. I'm not gonna film packing everything just because it's not feasible, not reasonable, boring, no one cares. So anyway, today I'm going to be packing some of our delicate items. I am in the front room. This is my workspace. I am exporting a video right now. I just finished editing. So I wanted to get that done. You guys are already, it's gonna be up. That one's going up tomorrow, but like this is this video that you're watching right now is going up way in the future. Anyway, YouTube and the internet is so weird. So I've, this is where I work, okay? And then over here, these boxes are like China cabinet items that I've already packed. Um, when I was doing my laundry room cleaning video, I had boxes for these things that I just took out and I already packed them just to get them out of that room because they didn't need to go in there. So this china cabinet and this china cabinet are the things that I'm going to be packing today. So I went to the store the other day and I got bubble wrap. I have boxes. <sighs> this task is just a little bit daunting, but it's one of the things that I'm actually the most excited about packing, which may sound weird, but I am really excited to pack this stuff just because I sit in this room every day to do homework and to like edit videos and stuff. So this is something that I look at every day and knowing that this stuff is going to be packed up already is so exciting for me. So I am really excited about getting these packed up. So this is what I'm going to be working on today. As I said, these boxes and there's another stack back here that you couldn't see. These boxes are already packed. So these boxes are gonna go out into the garage because that is where I'm collecting things. Hi, Yogi. Excuse me, baby. All right, so we are collecting our things for the move out here. I have all of the Department 56 boxes moved out here. I did buy this stretch wrap. So this is like plastic wrap basically, but in a gigantic roll. So what I want to do with that is group these Department 56 boxes together and like wrap them just because they're not heavy. I just wanna put them in bigger groups and shrink wrap them together so that they are easier to move. So that's another task I will undertake some other time. But today, and here's my bubble wrap, this is gonna come inside with me so that I can get started packing our china cabinets. I have so much help today. I've got one dog, I've got two dogs. I think the cat is upstairs in bed, so I'm gonna be able to get this done in no time, I'm sure. Also, the neighbors are having their house washed today, so they might start barking, whatever. I figured I would start by showing you what's actually in here, because I know that if I was watching this video, I would be curious and nosy and I would wanna know everything. Um, first, let's turn the lights on. Tap, tap, tap. How cool is that? So they both do that anyway. Tap, tap, tap. I love these china cabinets so much. They were kind of an impulse purchase when we bought them. We were at the furniture store, we had our list made out we knew what we wanted to get and we walked in we saw these we added them to the order the furniture order just because we couldn't live without them and now we want one more just because look at all the stuff we've got crammed in here it's kind of hello kind of a little bit much but whatever i'm not gonna i'm, I'm not gonna apologize because we love everything in here some of the things were free like sometimes when you go to the liquor store they send you or they send you home with like little shot glasses if you buy a bottle of whiskey or we have some mason jars in here somewhere. We had some mason jars in here somewhere. These, the Jameson ones. So these were a gift with purchase at the liquor store. We have some mugs, like we don't like to drink out of this one just because he's really fragile and very pretty and also kind of small inside and I always make a mess when I drink out of that guy. So we have 
lots of like shot glasses and these are beer pint glasses that we actually got from the brass tap because they had a gotta tap them all kind of thing and if you drink a, you know so many beers each month from their stamp or their punch card they would give you a free cup these came from Manny's and that's one of our favorite restaurants here um, it's like a great place to get steak anyway we've got some bowls and this actually comes out and like stacks out around this bowl and becomes like a lazy Susan except it doesn't have like the tray to sit on so it's just like a wonderful dish for like dips and olives and it's a it's great for parties anyway we've got all kinds of things in here these are mostly our Christmas dishes down here and over here we have our like China place settings we've got two different styles so we've got the ones with the gold around the rim and yes we have some Tootsie Pops don't ask me why and then these are just like the plain white these are microwave safe these are not and we've got like a charcuterie board down there that has a funny story behind it my friend Sarah knows exactly what I'm talking about this is like our box with the nice silverware we really need to sort through this stuff and put everything nicely in the boxes so I just wanted to give you a little overview of what we have and what I'm working with today so this is what I'm working with today I'm gonna do the small things shot glasses salt and pepper shakers first cabinet over here houses most of our shot glasses these are like a tiny little pair of boots like how cute are those so I have our salt and pepper shakers over here and then our shot glasses. Clearly we have a problem. And clearly we have a problem with the skull shaped glasses. Like mom has this thing for skull shaped things. So we have these four little ones and then we have these four like big daddies. I mean, they're fascinating and very, very cool. I honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea we had two different sizes. I'm actually shocked by that. Anyway, um, I need to wrap these. These are plastic, these came from Alaska, and these might just go into the trash. They're supposed to look like, like shotgun shells. I think they're just gonna go into the trash just because we're never gonna use these. And we have plenty of other ones. We have some like holiday ones, jingle juice, like we have we have Hocus Pocus shot glasses. And also, I think these are Hocus Pocus. Yeah, Sanderson Sisters. I think those are definitely Hocus Pocus salt and pepper shakers. Like, we don't need to keep these. So, yeah, those are going in, into the trash. I also just remembered that we have an entire box of salt and pepper shakers under this table. There's shelves under this table. So this box just has salt and pepper shakers in it. So I think I'm gonna repack them from that box into something else. I mean, I'm laughing at us because there are three of us that live in this house. How many salt and pepper shakers do we really need? But they're so cute. Like, we have Santa's for Christmas, we have the cat and the potion bottle for Halloween, and we've got R2-D2, and then like a black R2-D2 for Star Wars Day. And then we've got two Winnie the Pooh salt and, pe salt and pepper shakers. I'm just gonna get to packing. I'm, I'm done griping about this. I'm gonna start packing now.
Okay, salt and pepper shakers are packed and labeled in this box back here. And then this box is the shot glasses back there. There's still so much to do, but honestly, it looks so much less cluttered in here. I'm so happy. And also, I didn't tell you, I'm using like gift wrap, uh, tissue paper, this stuff, because um, I thought they were small enough that they would have enough cushion with the paper. I was right, they don't shake. So if you've ever packed or moved or anything, they say, if it don't shake, it don't break. We'll see if that's true, but uh, right now they don't shake. So hopefully they won't break, but um, there's nothing really truly valuable or special in there except for the dragon ones. But other than that, I think I'm gonna pack, ooh, mugs next. I think I'm gonna pack mugs next. Maybe I'll pack some big stuff like these pitchers up here and vases. That would make me feel a whole lot better. I don't know, we'll see. Hmm, but I'm having a good time. I'm listening to, watching, um, ignoring some design YouTube videos because we're still in the design process for our house. Like we have picked everything for the house. The house is being built, but once we move in, there are some design elements we're gonna add once we move in. So I am watching some YouTube videos to try to get an idea of what we wanna do. We know what we wanna do. I just wanna make sure that it's gonna be a good idea. I'm really excited about it. Anyway. I'm gonna get back to work, but I just wanted to tell you, I did it, I'm happy with that. There's a lot less clutter in these, and also I need to change my camera battery. Okay, we'll get back to work. I've got Ella, no, what is this? Ever After on Disney Plus as my company. I'm drinking a passion fruit LaCroix. I still have some glasses to wrap. I have one completely empty shelf 
and I'm very proud. This is taking forever. It's taking forever. I'm exhausted. My feet are tired of standing on the tile. But I started the movie and I'm hoping that it's gonna give me a little motivation anyway. This shelf is nearly empty. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with that because it's the weirdest shape, whatever. I've also realized I'm gonna run out of boxes. So, all those boxes that I had saved in my garage are being used for this. <laughs> Whoops. So I think what I'm gonna do before I finish for the day, quit for the day, stop for the day, I'm not quitting. I'm just gonna take a break till tomorrow. Anyway, I think what I'm gonna do is pack these up and put them in this box here. And I think that's gonna be my stopping point for the day. So this is what I got boxed up today. I'm going to pause for today, go get some more boxes, probably some banker's boxes just because they're sturdy and I know that I can fit these in there. Anyway, I'm going to quit for the day. It has actually been several days since I picked you guys up, but in the meantime I have gone to a couple of hardware stores, gotten some boxes. So I do have everything still over here just because I haven't moved it yet because hmm, it's been wild. Anyway, I need to turn the lights on in here so I can get packing, but it, I think what it seems like is I've got bowls, platters, and our china sets, and then the Christmas dishes yet to pack, but I think it's actually gonna be pretty quick to pack. I have some paper. I wanted to show you this. Um, I was watching some like moving tips videos and they talk about using like painter's paper, which is what this is. This is general purpose masking paper um, to pack things instead of like packing paper just because this is so much cheaper. This is really thin, but I think with a couple of layers, sort of like tissue paper, I think it's gonna be fine. So. This was $4 or $5 at Lowe's, and this is 150, no, this is 60 yards, so it's 180 feet by 18 inches. So I have four rolls of this. I have bubble wrap, I have boxes, I have tape, I have a marker. I think I have everything I need. So now I just need to get back to packing. We'll see, so I'm excited. I really wanna get this done today. This has kind of been weighing on me. I don't do well with unfinished projects. So having this like halfway finished for several days has been an experience for me that I don't enjoy actually. So anyway, I'm going to get to work packing. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I am, I'm gonna get this done. It needs to be done. I'm really excited to have it finished. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. I have laid out my platters over here and there, I think there's two more over there that I still wanna put with this stack. And I do think, now I did say that I wasn't going to use this big box. I am gonna use this big box, but I'm gonna use them for the platters because if I lay them or stack them in like diagonally, vertically and diagonally they will fit in here and then i can pack around the rest of them with like blankets or this paper so i won't fill this whole thing up but it will be nice to have them in there and they they do fit so that's this is what i'm going to use this box for and it is a really nice thick sturdy heavy box so it's like double ply cardboard which is nice so it should protect things. 
a little bit more. It is also really very early in the morning right now. So hence the morning light and the very dim light in here right now. But anyway, I'm gonna pack the platters. I'm gonna wrap them first and then stack them in here in this box and I think it's all gonna be okay. progress. This china cabinet is basically empty. All right, so top shelf of this china cabinet, I have two little tea light things and then this cute fish bottle opener guy. He's so pretty. I got him on a cruise once, a Disney cruise when we were in Cabo San Lucas and he stands up on his own just like that and down here it says Los Cabos over here again second shelf empty third shelf I have okay 
This guy I've had since I was a baby, and he kind of squats, but he poops out jelly beans. If you fill him up with jelly beans, like he's split in half here, and if you can get the top off, you can put jelly beans in there. He's so old, and it's like brittle plastic, and I don't want to break him, so I don't take the top off anymore. Anyway, he's going to go with some fragile stuff. I've got some tiny little silverware. The next shelf is empty, and the bottom shelf just has this. Now this I'm going to wrap in like bubble wrap and then the stretch wrap that I have in the garage. Um, so that's going to happen, and it's just going to be on its own. You know, that's how we moved it here. We didn't have any trouble, so that's what's going to happen with this. But this one... I'm basically going to say is done for now um, because I don't know what I'm gonna put that little chick in so cute anyway over here I have one completely empty shelf one mostly empty shelf and another mostly empty shelf so these are bowls these are all gonna go in the same box together except for this that's a beard oil we like to give those to cast members with beards when we see them um yeah so this stuff is gonna be pretty simple to pack up so this is all that's left and I'm so happy with the progress I've made today it is just now 10 30 in the morning so it's been kind of slow but I've been watching uh, for the Property Brothers take New Orleans on Discovery Plus, so I've been entertained, and I've filled up five boxes. So this is what I had done before today, and then these three, four, five over here are the ones that I have done today. I don't know if I'm going to use these medium boxes or not. I think I'm just going to go get some more of the small ones, just because the medium is really big, and dishes are heavy. So I think I'm going to continue to use the small ones for this room just because I don't want them. Because these boxes with the china stuff in them are heavy. So I think I'm going to go get some more of the small boxes and finish up this room.
china cabinets finished they are empty and i'm very very happy i went through three rolls of this paper this construction paper well this is the third roll so there's some left but it's definitely it's disappearing i do think that it's really gonna work to cushion all of this stuff um this shrink wrap stretch wrap stuff i really love kind of difficult to fight with when you're packing something by yourself but other than that i love it i think it's wonderful and i think it's gonna do the job so i'm done packing this stuff i'm gonna move all these boxes out to the garage you guys will see me in another moving packing vlog really really soon